at the time, this was gorgeous. Believe me, it doesn't look like much now. <laughs> What is this? An enemy? You're gonna hit me, aren't you? <laughs> so, combat. Or not. Was it something I said? Yeah, to my sister. Oh, Sly, you dog. And he broke our gun. Nice ass. You know, there's a special introductory offer at the Temple of Beating up the street. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to brush up on those self-defense skills. Don't yeah, I, th I think I need them. <laughs> Okay. So, we should head to the Temple of Beating to see how we can... Oh god. You're such a lucky dog sometimes, Boots. Looks like someone dropped a Heal Grease Plus over there behind me. Heal Grease Plus, basically your potions. You know the drill. Press F5 to go to your party status screen. Click on your icon of your faces and click on the Heal Grease Plus. Oh my god, the fourth wall! That should bind up your wounds in no time. Found Heal Grease Plus. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Bricks. An area in Anachronox. Yeah. Yeah, see what I mean about the <laughs> gravity thing? <laughs> that poor creep fell 40 feet to his death. That grey path up there must have malfunctioned. Makes you wonder if you'll be ready when your number's up. Will you have lived the life you wanted to live? I'm sorry, that's my uh, Nox God Arnold voice. Because look at them, you can't tell me he's not a Terminator. You look lost, what are you trying to find? Uh, nothing really. Are you sure you don't need hospitalization? No, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, the music is cutting up. I don't know why. To a $500 this is the Temple of Beating, but let's go see what's on the top of the this area first. Our friend won't let us through. You again? Haven't you learned your lesson? Yeah, I have. Don't hit me, sir. This is basically the fountain overlook. People call it the fountain, but they don't really know what it is. Some fountain, huh? They just call it that because no one knows what else to call it. Look around you, these buildings and architecture are already here when Anachronox was discovered 80 odd years ago. Just imagine finding an entire city planet the size of a moon and nobody's home. Yeah. I fling things for a buck. I fling your trench coat for a buck. That's right. I fling anything for a buck. Doesn't matter the shape or size. I'll fling it right over the rail for a buck. I'll fling myself down there for a buck. Uh, I think it's illegal to throw things down the fountain, dude. Are you serious? I guess it just wasn't worth it for the fling bot anymore. He... he was my friend. He was... he was your friend. This is basically these down there again. There's... there's really nothing. Who is this gentleman? Do you have the package? Oh, wait, uh, nothing. I'm just, uh, waiting for my wife. You look suspicious. And you're ugly. So, that's against you as well. Okay, we're back down here. Let's pat the time minder on its head. 
And go into the Temple of Beating. And who is this large dude? Fortunate is it not that such a place as this exists. I have nothing to fear in the dark of the night, for I have beefy whacking at my disposal. Gyu, fear something in the night? Who would my Gyu, dude? Last night, while strolling home, someone was following me. I could tell by the sound of his dainty footfalls that he was a ruffian of the most dangerous, de no, degenerate sort. Just as he came within my grasp, I unleashed high-octane beefiness on him. I broke him, snap for snap, bone for bone. I held him like a giant paintbrush, spelling out my name on the wall with his blood. <laughs> self-defense is sweet. Yeah, I don't think that's self-defense. Uh-oh. Is it you? Oh, it's not the same one. To hit or not to hit? Uh, not to hit? You're right. Forgive my violence. Do you have anything to say? You are a saint. Thank you, RoboTarget386. What is this? I can't access data links, but I paid big bucks to modify PAL-18 to hotwire these suckers. Ah, foreshadowing. So let's go get some lessons. Yeah, this looks like a really, really fair fight. Come on, Heenan! Take a swing! Those robotic... Robotic gets are making a joke out of you. You're weak, kid. You ain't ever gonna be somebody. You must not want it bad enough, Heenan. You're just standing there. We're throwing you back on the streets if you don't stab it up, Heenan. Okay. These delightful creatures are called brubulans. And as you can see, you can't understand anything they're saying. Okay, fine. Looking at my bag of Glodens, eh? I've been collecting Glodens for 10 long years now. I know all about them. What the hell are Glodens, you may ask? Glodens are odd rodents bathed in neutron radiation. They fuel your shield cells and power belts, so they're a definite must if you're gonna get into any scraps. They were originally discovered on Hephaestus, the lava planet where all those wonky monks live. Glodens are easy to breed and easy to raise from similar non-radiated rodents. They're such a cheap power source, everybody's using them now. Even Corticom finally got into on the action and markets them. That sounds gross, man. The only real nasty thing about them is their odor, and the fact that shield cells and power belts consume them. Lock, stock and whiskers. Here, take one. It's worth 40 on RG, but don't get too friendly with it. They're meant for fuel, not companionship. Well, that's... that's horrible. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Whackmaster Jack. Judging by the choice condition of that shiner, I suspect you're here to learn to find out of the scuffle, the beat, the whack. No then, I don't take loafers, and I don't take thieves. I take students, and I expect respect. Give me an lip and I'll fatten it. Before we begin, however, there's a small matter of my training fee. Knowledge isn't cheap. But for a mere five loonies, we can begin our first lesson. Sounds great. Here's your cash. Very good. Let's begin with a crash course and simple combat. The streets of Anachronox hide all manner of threat, and you would do well to learn some basics. Come, step into the ring. This is basically our combat tutorial. If you're gonna learn the way of the whack, you better cut jackwires and beef up on the fundamentals. Some of this will seem simple. Basic even, but unless you got a firm grasp over the firm grasp, you're gonna be coughing up teeth instead of wisecracks next time you're in the scuffle. Got it? Mm. So let's learn the basic abilities and concepts that can make even an infirm bag of loose change like yourselves into a bastion of beethood. The first of the basic abilities is might. It indicates how physically powerful you are in a fight. Something about that spare tire around your girdle tells me this isn't gonna be your forte. Might is an important attribute for both your beefness and beat skill. The second of these basic abilities is agility. Your agility is what makes you fast, graceful, and likely to avoid a licking. A true master of agility can dodge all but the most skilled attacks. Hell, someday I might even learn to dodge that robot target behind me. Right now, though, I'm just not seeing it, Tiger. Ability is an important ah, agility is an important attribute for your speed, beat, beat block skills. The third and last of these basic skills is wisdom. There is 
This one doesn't seem your forte either, but let's hope for your sake you're still a brain cell or two rattling around in there. Hold on a sec, Chief. I came here to learn how to fight. So far all of you has explained really obvious concepts while giving me the verbal smackdown. You gonna teach me something useful or what? If you wanna learn something, take your medicine and burdle your tongue. If you get frazzled this easily, you're gonna get sandbagged by the first scrapper you lock horns with. If you wanna size up an enemy on the quick and make fast tactical decisions in the thick of thick, drop your pride and use your brain. Your brain, squab. Wisdom boils down to intelligence, and though you can't drop an opponent with brains alone, a spoonful of wisdom can make a little might go a long way. Wisdom is an important attribute for your beat block skills. These three main attributes, might, agility, and wisdom, are what determine how good you are at all of your various skills. Until you really understand these obvious ideas, you're hopeless, get me? Now pay attention. The main skills needed in battle are beefiness, beat, speed, and beat block. Oh god, okay, I'm not gonna explain all these or read them out. They're fairly obvious. <laughs> Self-improvement's what separates us from the animals. So does a high-caliber beat pistol, which is noticeably absent from your person. Yeah, well, about that. See, uh... Save it. It happens when your clientels are mostly deadbeats. I'll let you have this old Vishtim pistol. It's old, it's beat up, but it's better than a bare knuckle blood fight. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, always have your weapon equipped at all times. The last thing you want to worry about when alley goons are kicking your teeth into a kibble is getting out your sidearm and loading it. Here, take it and equip it. Now let's see if you can shoot straight, boss. So this is basically the combat tutorial. I don't need to explain, this is fairly obvious and I'll explain it myself. This line thing is, if you've played any JRPG you know what this is. This is, when it's full you can attack. This is attack, this is move, this is use item, and this is use special ability. I don't think it gets clearer than that. Attacking the robot for 9 damage, that's, that's great. Ouch. Ha! Do you think you would just take a poke without fighting back? Can't stir up a hornet's nest without getting stung. That's why it's important to keep an eye on your health. Your health bar shows you how much life you have left. Look like you landed quite a wallop. Yeah, since we're playing on hard, this is really bad. <laughs> Go ahead and take another shot at him and we'll move on. Sure, have some more damage. 